Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living and retirement with having. One of the challenges of partnering is when you don't partner correctly. One of the hardest things about young people, especially young boys, is for them to understand that parents often make mistakes. A parent who chooses the wrong partner and is actually a player has a great difficulty in distinguishing who is right for her and who is wrong for her. What happens though during a divorce is that kids often get amused and abused by the divorce going on. They're amused because they learn how to play against their parents to get what they want. They're abused because they openly have to hear all the shit that goes back and forth between two adults who don't know how to get along. In life we have young children who are raising themselves believing that some other person took away their parent. Meaning the new husband or the new wife or the new girlfriend or whatever. And while that may be partially true in the concept of there was a distraction from the focus of a relationship that was already present. But the truth is that the individual chose. The individual chose to be a predator. The individual chose to be a, pre a player. The individual chose to walk away from his relationships, his responsibilities, and his love life. He chose because when he originated that relationship, he did it from a predator's point of view. He watched a girl that he thought was pretty for a long time. He approached her eventually in a supermarket, and somehow his lines, what he said, got him a date, and eventually got him a mate. There's a more guttural way to say it, but I'm not going to say it that way. When I hear those things coming out of women's mouths, I'm just amazed. They go around accusing other people of stalking them who are not stalking them and are just trying to love on them. And openly they can't tell the difference. The fools of the force always steal sunglasses and other things off people's heads. The bitches of communities do the same thing and they don't end up with anything but dread. But in life we have to speak the truth about theft. People do not steal people away unless they're human traffickers. We have a lot of concerns about that today because in different countries around the world they have different views about what is and isn't okay. We also have people who walk up behind people who are working and simply pilfer whatever the fuck they think is there. They don't think one second about what it looks like to other people watching who can call police and get them caught where they should be, in jail. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth of statistics and statistically we have to look at who are the stealers in the world. What is the type of personality, what is the type of color, what is the type of race, what is the type of nationality that thinks it's okay to steal. I'm pretty sure that a good percentage of the typical stereotypes would be proven statistically because the cultural lines, the cultural ideologies, the cultural social aspects of their culture allows it and enables it.